Okay, I want to show you a little uh, demonstration of the uh, a new Clems engine I want to build. Uh, this is pretty much the uh, newer design. And basically, uh, it's enclosed in a container, of course. And uh, let me show you where we're at on this. Okay. What I want to show you is over here. Over here, we have our pumps. We have actually th four pumps that actually run on a gear or, or wheel, flywheel. And it's stationary on a center shaft. That center shaft does not move. So what that does is that when this starts to rotate, it actually turns the pumps on. Then it actually pulls a fluid into the uh, accumulator, which is over here. Uh, this is our main dry pump, and down here is where we actually uh, pull in the fluid through the hydrostatic pump through the accumulator out to the uh, hydrostatic uh, gear uh, pumps itself and on the uh, design the output is actually on the spiral uh, tubing so when it turns let's get that to turn a little bit when it turns it actually forces the fluid outward almost like a impeller so the faster you go, of course, you're going to cancel out those motors. At the same time, you're going to actually be able to suck up more fluid into the uh, motor itself and actually cause a chain reaction, which is basically the accumulator will create such a vacuum, it will act as an uh, inverse piston. In other words, instead of being pressed down from fluid, it will actually want to be pushed back up, causing the hydrostatic motor to actually accelerate through the reserve and all the uh, other uh, exhaust basically hits the walls and falls back down to the reserve itself. It may cause cavitation so I may have to put some kind of diffusers in here. Uh, starting it is a tricky one because you can't turn the the shaft itself. You cannot turn let me show you where we're at. You cannot turn this right here this is actually stationary with the base so when it rotates it actually rotates on this main shaft of the hydrostatic motor or the vane motor so that actually just sits right there to the uh, uh, positions also up top does the same thing this actually doesn't move either so it's actually stationary so usually uh, probably another belt drive would be uh, on the unit itself. Of course the key is how can you start stop it if it actually stops. And that's kind of the the uh, thousand dollar question. Well there's many ways of doing it. One way of actually causing it to slow down is allow this top shaft to start spinning and that will actually start canceling out the uh, pumps itself. So if you allow that to actually spin you actually will cancel out the whole system and it will slow down dramatically because now the pumps are no longer pumping in the fluid so that's a good possibility on this particular design so overall like I said is once you get this rotation going depending on the size you're going to cancel out those pumps dramatically dramatically due to the fact that the the amount of feet per second that those pumps are producing output will be canceled out due to the centripetal forces involved because every time you're rotating this you're going to create your own feet per second so if this coming out say you know 200 feet per second and the rotation is 300 feet per second of the circumference you now canceled out those pumps they don't even have to work hard at all so this is basically a little just a little simple demonstration of how it actually would have to work and that is we have to pull the fluid up go through the hydrostatic motor through the hydrostatic motor itself or vein motor it has to go into a cuminator that allows a certain amount of volume of liquid to stay in there and from the pumps the pumps are then going to be able to pull about four times the GPMs as that hydrostatic motor and it will be a little difficult to start it but once you get this thing going and once that heat is created what's going to happen is the viscosity is going to change your fluid is going to come out much more uh, uh, fluid and basically it's going to it should be able to take off on its own it's basically a water spout like a tornado once you get that fluid going 
and that's what Tropical Forces is forcing that out, you should be able to keep a sustained running motor. So this is basically what the uh, new design is all about. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later.